Once upon a time, there lived a wise gardener named Elias. Elias was the no, was known far and wide for his remarkable ability to grow the most vibrant and beautiful gardens, overflowing with fruits, vegetables, and flowers of every hue. One day, a young boy named Leo stumbled upon Elias' garden while wandering to the village. Entranced by the beauty of the garden, Leo approached the Elias and asked, How do you grow such am amazing plants? Elias smiled warmly and came closer to Leo. Come, sit with me, and I will share with you the secrets of the garden. And so, under the shade of the towering oak tree, Elias began to impart his wisdom to the eager young boy. You see, Leo, every plant needs three essential things to thrive, nourishment, care, and patience. Elias explained, just as he nourish our bodies with food and water, the plants that require the right amount of nutrition and hydration to grow strong and healthy. But it's not enough to simply provide them with water and fertilizers. Elias continued, plants also need care, a gentle pruning to remove dead leaves, protection from tempest, and watchful eye to ensure they were flourishing. And perhaps the most importantly, Leo, Eli Elias emphasized, is practice, is patience. Just as Rome wasn't built in one day, a garden doesn't bloom overnight. It takes time for seeds to sprout, for buds to blossom into flowers, and for food, fruits to ripen on the vines. Patience is the key to witnessing the full beauty of nature wonders. Leo listened intently, observing every word, Elias' wisdom. Inspired by the gardener's teaching, he returned home, determined to apply them to his own life. Months passed, and Leo digestively tended to his small patch of earth. Following Elias' advice with an unwearying detection, he soon enough, his efforts bore a fruit, literally and figuratively. His garden flourished, boasting with life and color. Much to the delight of the entire village, word of Leo's remarkable garden with Elias, who smiled proudly upon hearing the young boy's success. Success. And so, with each passing season, Elias and Leo continued to tend their respective gardens, united by the shared love for the beauty and wisdom of nature. And as they worked side by side, under the watchful gaze of the stars, above, the, above they knew that the trustees' treasure in life were not measured in gold or silver, but in seeds of kindness, patience, and love that they planted in hearts of the other. For in the garden of life, it's not the fruits we harvest, but the lessons we learn, and the connection we nurture that truly sustains us throughout the seasons.